Hi folks, I'm going to walk you through how to get your students logged in on their iPad um, to the Splash Math app. Okay, the first thing you need to do is have your classroom set up. There are some videos that can walk you through how to do classroom setup and how to do roster changes located on our Splash Math classroom, which is um, in Moodle under professional development in the math category. Okay, in short, let me uh, point out a few of those spots for you. Add a class, go up to classes here on the upper right hand side and say add a class. Once you do that, it'll ask you to add the student's names. You can do that in a list. Um, you can cut and paste from an Excel file you might already have, or you can just type in all their names. Okay. The next thing you want to do is look at your roster once you have a class. So you have these four tabs here. I'm looking at my roster. I want to make sure that my usernames and passwords are set up how I would like them. In my roster video, I walk you through how to change this. In short, click on the pencil next to their name and you can change their username and password to be whatever you like. So um, I highly recommend you use Granville's naming structure for usernames and passwords. The um, one challenge there is that we use three letters for a password and Splash Math requires you to have four. So perhaps you might want to add to the end of the password a number like their iPad number or their grade level. Okay, so once you have that all set up, then you can actually get the students working on the app. You can't get them into the app unless they have a username and password, so you want to make sure this is all ready. Once you have their usernames and passwords ready, you can actually print them by um, clicking on Print Roster, and you can go to Print Cards for each student, which will give you something that looks like this. You can cut them out, or you can say Print as a List and have that somewhere accessible for you. This is a great thing to have for substitutes as well. Okay. Um, once you have your um, roster information handed out to students, the students can then go to their iPads and click on the Splash Math app. Okay, so let me get my iPad set up here for you to view. There's my iPad. The first time you get into the app, you'll see in the upper right hand corner something that either says login or already registered. So right here, you're seeing that. Okay, I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going to get a login here. Now I'm going to use one of the students that I had in my roster there. Um, I forgot already. There it is. Four, six, and her password. So I can log in for you to see how this works. So I hit sign in. Takes a few seconds to sign in. Um, also note that it won't sign in unless you're connected to the internet. Splash Math is an internet based application so there are some apps on iPads that will work without being logged into the internet but this is when you're going to have to go to that internet login and make sure you're logged in first. Um, here the first time you log in it's going to ask you if you would like push notifications and you really don't need that so go ahead and hit cancel on that. Alright so now I'm in um, the Splash Math app as my student Angelina and you'll see across the top because we have a premier package you have access to all the grade levels if you're in kindergarten you're wondering where's kindergarten they have assured us many times this week that kindergarten is on its way um, so up here you could switch your student over to another grade level if they need to practice something at a higher level based on what you found out through maps testing or through using another app like front row so here we go, we have second grade and we have many different um, domains to practice within. Okay, And um, you as a teacher will know what your lesson is about that day, so you're going to go in, click on whatever, um, have, have the students click on whatever level um, they need to begin at, and they can change the levels by tapping change level if they perhaps need to practice at a higher level or you did lesson um, that would be more representative of level one um, yesterday and today you're working on level two you can do that and then the students will hit start and do their practice okay so um, another video will walk you through what those lessons look like but for now we're just talking about logging in and logging out so I'm going to sign out now, I'm not sure if you ever need to sign out of the Splash Math app we might need to test this out together and report back um, they could have an automatic you know timeout on your sessions like many apps do 
Um, but I wanted you to see what happens when you log out. So when I log out, now the screen, when I enter Splash Math, looks a little different. I don't have that login or already registered icon up here in the upper right hand corner. Now I need to go swipe, 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 swipe to get to that login page. I recognize that that is kind of a pain, that you have to swipe through five screens to get back to the login. I have contacted Splash Math already and reported that teachers would prefer to have the login readily available on the front page. Perhaps a way around this is just to leave your students logged in since they have their own individual iPads. I'm not certain, again, if that might time them out, but we can always test it out and find out. Okay? So once you're back to here, you can hit login and you'll get that login where students can um, put their username and password back in. I hope this helps clear up any um, confusion about how to find the login for your app. Um, if you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to contact me for additional help.